Folks, coming up in just a few moments, the pony races. We know you all have been here waiting for that, but we're gonna set it up to the Jumbotron for a word from our sponsor from our pony racing. I'll set it down to the floor to Adam Carmarty, who's uh, going to help you out, bringing you here with our pony racing. And he has a few guests that will be uh, helping him commentate throughout our pony racing competitions. Well, Shetland Pony Racing is something that we have a lot of in the United Kingdom. It's quite new here in America. What made you bring it to the States? Well, kind of an exciting day for us here with the first International Pony Grand National. Um, and this is US Pony Racing. We thought it was such a great thing in the UK that we'd give it a try here. So tonight is the inaugural night of Shetland Pony Jump Racing. So pretty much anything could happen tonight then. Yes, and here are the riders. Uh, there'll be two races this evening, two exciting races. Uh, that's Patty Young as the champion jockey who's walking down to the start leading them. And uh, these are all future steeplechase jockeys that are hoping to ride the English Grand National. Well, you know, it's amazing because in the UK, so many of our good jockeys have started right here on Shetlands and ended up being at the very top of their game. And I think there's a link to this, isn't there? Something links this to the Grand National. Well, the, the greatest race uh, steeplechase in the world is the English Grand National, and the nephew of, of Charlie Fenwick, who won it in 90, is racing tonight. So little Tommy Fenwick, who rides in both races, uh, his uncle won the English Grand National at Aintree. So is he one of the favorites tonight? Uh, he'd definitely be uh, one of the favorites, certainly in the second race. In the first race, he's got uh, only Funny and uh, Sweet P are both winners coming into this, so I'd say he'd be third pick in the first race. Now, if you were a betting man, which I'm sure you're not, who would your money be on in race one tonight? I would say that uh, if I was a betting man, there's a horse that won at Laurel uh, just this week, and that was only Funny, Elizabeth Scully. So that's the number two. The, the number two would be my favorite there in the orange colors. Okay, so we know who the good ones are now, but uh, one thing I think we should mention is the more the crowd cheer, the faster the ponies go. Wouldn't you say that was true? Unquestionably, we'd like to have some participation from the crowd, so give a big roar right now for all these ponies. Now, the course we have this evening, tell us how it works. Where do they go? Where do they start? Where do they finish? Okay, to make it easy, they start at the Washington Monument, down there, they go two full circuits around over 10 fences, and when they get down near the Washington Monument again, they run straight up to the finish line. Okay, do you want to run us through the uh, runners this evening? Oh, what's that? Oh, the runners this evening. So we start out with uh, Marty Gras, Ellie Perry, the number one, has a nice chance. Uh, Smarty Pants, Alice Nolan Watson, would be an outsider, would be probably 10 to 1. Only Funny, again, was first at Laurel just a week, couple of weeks ago. I, I like Elizabeth Scully on that one. Farm, fo farm photo up, Tommy Fenwick, his uncle won the English Grand National. I think he's got a good chance here. Matty Schwartz on quick draw, McGraw. <laughs> Has the biggest cheering section. And finally, Sweet Pea is also a winner this season. So Sweet Pea, the number six, would be the second choice. Each and every one of them definitely has a chance. We uh, get the jockeys on board the ponies and then we will get them underway. Two races for you tonight here at the Washington International Horse Show. They are going to be fast, they are going to be furious. We get our jockeys on board and then we will be getting them underway. But have a look, decide who you are going to be cheering for. Who do you think can take the win in the first ever American Shetland Pony Grand National?
And our riders will be going to their horses shortly. We'll have riders up. Two times around, the jump 10 fences along the way. We have riders up in the paddock. So they are way out. Let's give them that uh, signal to tell them they're way out. champion jockey with us, Paddy Young, will be our starter. The jockeys are on, they make their final preparations. We turn it over to our starter, you can see his flag, and as soon as that flag comes down, they will be under starter's orders. And our race will be underway this evening here at the Washington International Horse Show. So we pass you over now to uh, Willow Keith. Willow taking us through the action here tonight. And this race does start in front of the Washington Monument. They'll go two times around, jumping 10 fences. Our field now on their way to the start. And our field is now lining up for the start. The flag will shortly be up. So the, the fans flag is go up. wild. <laughs> the flag is up. They'll be lining up shortly for the start. They're all in line. And away they go. Marty Gras goes to lead. One smarty pants running in second place with Funny in third. Total off races in fourth place with Sweet Pea and Quick Draw on the golf completes the field. Moving up on the outside is Smarty Pants. Marty Gras still has the lead. Smarty Pants is speeding up to challenge for the lead if they race around the third. It's Smarty Pants on top. Marty Gras races in the same place. Smarty Pants has the lead as they race into the final turn. Marty Gras settles ground but loses some there. Smarty Pants is strong. Marty Gras ready to watch the next fence. And they race around the third. Marty Gras has the lead. Smarty Pants races in second place. Marty Gras up. And Smarty Pants has a seventh and second. Marty Gras wins this about half a leg. Well, we wrangled up the one loose one. How do you like that so far? Race number one. We'll present the awards here for our first race. <laughs> and last but not least. Joining us on behalf of our sponsor, uh, Charles Owen, is Danielle Santos, and uh, she is also joined for the presentation by Irish steeplechase jockey, who's been here racing for 10 years, Jeff Murphy, as we'll present to our winner, and that is uh, entry number one, who uh, took the top placing today. And number one is Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is owned and ridden by Ellie Perry, trained by Liam McGurk.
Ellie, you've just won the first ever American Pony Grand National. How does that feel? Pretty good. How long have you had this pony? Um, 14 years. So you've been training 14 years for this win tonight? Uh, yes. Well, you did it with such great, such style. She's your first ever Pony Grand National winner here in the USA. So such an amazing night here and we get more pictures to put in the history books of the Washington International Horse Show. Don't forget though, we still have a further race for you tonight. We'll tell you all about the runners and riders in that one in uh, just a few minutes. And of course, we will have our next lot of Shetland ponies joining us. We get those final photographs and they go firmly in the history books here at the Washington International Horse Show. Uh, right, everyone, do you want to see some more pony racing? Well, we will have our next ponies with us in just a second. And of course, first, we welcome our next jockeys. The jockeys come in for race two here at the Washington International Horse Show. Right, we get the ponies in, we get our jockeys in, and we'll have that second race underway in just a moment or two. But we uh, get the jockeys in, we get the ponies in, and uh, we will be underway for you here this evening. So uh, the ponies and riders we're about to see, what can you tell us about race number two? Well, race number two is going to be with younger riders. It's a main race. Uh, we've got seven runners here they won't be going quite as quickly these are the future pony racing stars of of next year or so or today could be but they're maidens so none of them have won a race we do have a couple of uh celebrities again that's tommy fenwick uh on Nick Knack. tommy uncle won the english grand national it's scarlett davies her mom's champion steeplechase jockey in the nation blythe miller davies she rides one lonesome glory jr uh we've got my friend Fluffy is also a pretty quick pony and lightning bug. So it should be an exciting maiden event here, but a little slower than last. Well, I don't know. They look like they're going to be going pretty quick tonight. But uh, we'll get them on board and we will get them underway as soon as we possibly can. Uh, but having a look at these ponies, I think we're going to be in for a good race. It is. I mean, you can't be fooled by a pony that looks, you know, as furry as the number five. He's won a couple races in his career. He looks a bit past it tonight, but don't be fooled. When, they, when the sound of racing goes on, they all wake up. So it looks like our jockeys are about to get aboard. And again, if you're a betting man in race two, who would you be going for? I think that uh, the number three, Nick Knack, would be the four to five favorite here. And again, maybe we'll have paramutual wagering if you all like this enough this year. Uh, but Nick Knack looks like the favorite, and maybe uh, maybe Cricket would be an outsider, or Oh My, from the only farm that won the first. Well, I think I'm going to go for Lightning Bug, because it's a cool name. Is that one any good? Uh, I, I don't know Lightning Bug, but it look, certainly looks the part here in the paddock. <laughs> right, let's get our jockeys on board, shall we? They make their way out to the ponies. They're all weighed out, so we get them on board. And again, we give them that signal that it's okay to get on board as we get our race underway. And our riders are up for our second and final Shetland Pony race. We've got a good field here, Lightning Bug with Olivia Kremen, Little Daisy with Heather Ember, Nick Knack, Tommy Fenwick, Cadence Chicas on My Friend Fluffy, Delaney O'Neill on Cricket, Scarlett Davis on Loads of Glory Jr., and Phineas Westerland on Oh My. Our field is now heading out to the start. They'll have a little warm up before they'll be under starter's orders. 
Come on, lightning bug. Don't forget as well, once we get underway, the more you cheer tonight, the faster those little ponies will be going. But uh, they make their final preparations, they head up, and they will be under starters' orders. It's race two here at the Washington International Horse Show. And here comes her field on their way to the start. That's Tommy Fenwick leading the way on Nick Knack. And our field is now under starter's orders. And the fans are getting wound up. The flag is up. Our field behaving nicely on their way to line it up for the start. The flag is up and away they go. My friend Fluffy goes to lead, that's Cricket racing in second place, Lightning Bug in third. Little Daisy races in fourth place, that's Nick Knack now taking on his fourth place. Cricket has the lead as they race around the turn, my friend Fluffy racing in second place with Lightning Bug followed by Nick Knack. Racing into the turn again, my friend Fluffy races in second place right off of Cricket's corner. They race down the backside and they jump the next fence. Cricket still holds the lead as they race into the final turn. Nick Knack is making a bold move up on the inside and take over fourth place. And they straight away from the next fence. Cricket has the lead. My friend Fluffy races in second place. Nick Knack is moved into third. And they turn right home. Racing down through the stretch. My friend Fluffy. Nick Knack makes a run in for third. It's a fair for win. Cricket and my friend Fluffy is too close for me to call. Oh, the atmosphere in here this evening really is electric. And once again, we step into the arena, we get our presentation underway. We have a legend in the jockey world, Jeff Murray stepping forward, as well as uh, Daniel Santos representing Charles Owen this evening. Many congratulations to each and every one of our mini jockeys. We're going to get some pictures taken and then of course we'll grab a quick chat with our winner. But what a fantastic race we were treated to tonight and we do get that presentation underway. Jeff Murphy, famous in the jockey world and of course Danielle Santos as well. Representing Charles Owen this evening here at the Washington International Horse Show. The first time ever we've seen pony racing in America, but it certainly won't be the last. So while we uh, take the final pictures, there's a tiny pony all the way back here on the back row. Let's go and have a chat to this mini jockey. What's your name? Scarlet. Scarlet, what's your pony's name? Snoopy. Snoopy, and how old is Snoopy? Um, 20. That's older than you, is it not? <laughs> yeah. How old are you? Eight. Eight, and what are you gonna do when you grow up? Are you gonna be a world famous jockey? 
You don't know yet. Well, you did very well tonight, and your pony is very, very cute, so well done. Right, we've got a winner over here, though, and it's the first time ever that there's been a Shetland Pony Grand National in America, and you've won. How does that feel? Um, yeah, good. Well, I'm glad it feels good. Um, what can you tell us about your pony? How old's your pony? She's 16. She's 16, and is this your first ever race, or have you been training for a long time? Um, this is my third race. It's your third race, and you're a winner. How good's that? Good. It is good. Well done. We're going to uh, <laughs> congratulate you once again. You're a winner here on race two at the Pony Racing. So each and every one of them very, very talented and all names to look out for on the racing circuit. But we are going to send them on a bit of a victory gallop this evening. You know how fast they can go, ladies and gentlemen. Your pony jockeys! <laughs> oh, they really are fantastic, each and every one of them. And of course, we have so much drama and excitement still to come this evening. But we uh, pass you back over now to Oliver. He'll tell you what's coming up next here at the Washington International Horse Show.